Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave and I'm super excited to stamp with you today. I've got a really simple and really pretty project featuring the Heart and Home Suite from Stampin' Up's January to July or June mini catalog. Um, and what's really great about this is this suite, um, the stamp set or the bundles in this suite are carrying over into the new annual catalog. So they're going to continue to be available. Uh, this is also the feature of our all-star tutorial bundle this month, which you can purchase for $15 or better yet, get for free with a $50 purchase in my online store if you live in the U.S. So I am super excited to share my project with you. I'm going to be using the Blessings of Home bundle. This is one of the two bundles that is featured in this uh, Heart and Home suite of products. And this is a really simple card that I actually... Um, was able to create during a team event that I held um, last year. And we did what's called a shoebox swap, where you bring all the supplies that you need to make a project with the paper, um, the stamps, the inks, and everything in a shoebox. And then everybody train turn takes turns making the, the projects. And this was one of the projects at that event. It was pretty cool. So one of my team members, Sherry, designed this card and I just loved it. Um, and I wanted to create this with uh, a little bit of old and a little bit of new. So I'm starting with an Orchid Oasis card base. And by the way, whether you use the regular English paper as an American paper size or the size of paper that's found abroad. We've got dimensions in both English and metric units for both sizes of paper in our all-star tutorial. So even if you live abroad, you can still create these awesome projects. So I'm going to fold that card in half and then uh, um, I have die cut this piece of designer series paper with the scalloped contour dies. And this is a really great set of dies that make a whole bunch of uh, rectangles. So I die cut this from some of our T Boutique designer series paper. This is a really great pack of paper. There's all kinds of gorgeous patterns in here. And there's both kind of T designs as well as solid prints. So you can choose from any of those. Um, to create this project with. So there we go. I also die cut one of the smaller rectangles out of some white card stock and I'm going to add this to my card as well and we'll pop that layer up also because we can. I love die cutting um, layers like this and popping them up on top of one another because I think it just looks really nice. This would be a really fun card to make in a set where you make um, the same layout, just change up the colors of uh, the paper that you're using. Okay, here we go. Now I'm going to do a little stamping. So on a scrap of some white cardstock, I'm going to take and stamp this um, floral image from our stamp set, the smaller one. And I will use some Orchid Oasis ink. So this is a monochromatic card, meaning I'm using just one color to create this card. And I will, let's see, I'll just stamp that on here. And then I'm going to run this through my die cutting machine with this die that will cut that right out. So I'll do that and be okay, right back. So I've got my die cut stamped image and I'm going to color this in and I use the term color loosely. I'm gonna use my clear wink Estella and just color in the design because it's so pretty. And of course, this is really easy to do. And it just adds a nice little sparkle to the card and I think I got it all. All right, and then I'll take and flip this over and we'll pop that up as well. Ooh, pulled out a new sheet of dimensionals. That always makes me happy. Okay. I'm just going to position this on here like so, and that looks lovely. Next up, I want to stamp my sentiment on here. 
And so this set comes with some really lovely sentiments. I'm going to use the thank you for inspiring me because that sounds just nice. And I will stamp this on a little bit of a scrap. And then we'll trim that out. So I've got this three quarter of an inch scrap and I'm just going to stamp my sentiment on here like so that looks pretty good i'll give it a little snip with my snips <laughs> and then i'm going to um, punch the end with my banners pick a punch and that will give me that nice banner end and then I can position it over uh, my stamped image, which looks fabulous. And then of course, we're going to dress this up a little bit. Now I did pop up my flowers. So we'll, we'll pop this up so it's the same height as our flowers, basically. Gosh, I should have put that up a little higher. I think I can still move it. There we go. All right, and feeling like I should have trimmed this a little shorter, so I'm actually going to do that manually. I was thinking I needed it just a little longer. Of course, the punch looks a little better, but that works pretty well in a pinch. Now, I also want to take and add um, a few extra touches to this card. I'm going to start by adding a little bit of ribbon. This is our metallic woven ribbon. And I'll do this with just a little bow. And then we also have some beautiful little dots that I can add to this as well. So I've got this pretty bow. What's fun about this is the ends kind of ravel a little bit so you can sort of floosh them. That is an official stamping term. If you hadn't heard of it, you clearly need to be watching more of my videos. <laughs> Um, which reminds me, if you like this video, I would be so grateful if you could give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more awesome videos like this because that really helps me with the YouTube. All right, last touches. I'm going to add a panel of white cardstock to the inside of my card so that we can make this all nice and pretty. And... To do that, I want to use that larger floral image from this stamp set, but this is kind of hard to hold on to. So I'm going to bring my Stamparatus in and I'm just going to put my cardstock up here in the corner. Oops, like this. Goodness. And I'm going to position this on my cardstock like so. I'll pick this up with. My Stamparatus will ink this up. Only part of this is going to stamp onto my cardstock, so I'm not inking the whole thing. Then I'll give it a little rub, like so. And voila, I've got a beautiful coordinating image for the inside of my card. Get rid of this. We'll attach that to the inside. Oh, this is my... Oh gosh, both of my seals are pretty much out of seal. Let's see if we can get this card made before it runs out. So we've got that layer for the inside, which is pretty simple. And then last but not least, a couple of gems. Ah, we've got these beautiful matte dots. They come in all the new in colors. Oops, so they're really pretty and they totally look like button candy. Do you remember that when you were a kid? I always thought that was kind of fun. The little cards with the candy dots on it. So I'm going to use my Take Your Pick tool, one of my favorite tools from Stampin' Up! and add a few of these dots to our beautiful card here. So I'll do a couple of uh, bigger ones and smaller ones. So there we go. 
So there is my gorgeous card, so simple to create. Of course, if you loved this video, again, the thumbs up would be so awesome. Don't forget to uh, click on the subscribe button and any of the supplies that I used today, um, including this awesome Take Your Pick tool, are available in my online store. You can shop the links in the description below as well as head over to my blog post where you can find information, um, additional photos, measurements, and all the good details. So thank you guys guys so much for stamping with me today. Don't forget if you spend $50 in my online store during the month of June, you will get this amazing all-star tutorial PDF. And can I just say my card is amazing. I did a beautiful watercolor card uh, with this suite and I know you're going to love it. So thanks again, friends. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.